doing today is a special day because today is the inauguration of Donald Trump the 45th president of the US and I'm completely in style the Hillary prison shirt and the drain the cup drain the swamp cap so today to celebrate this I decided together with a neighbor of mine to make Dutch haché and haché is a very nice dish my mother used to make and I'm uh, gonna guide you through how to make it and I'm gonna show you what is in it now so as you can see we got here onions potatoes butter I'll get the real names on it this is like uh, full fat butter gravy pepper uh, this is uh, haché this is supposed to be goulash well we'll see what happens uh, Del Monte tomato paste, full fat milk. Uh, this is a kind of uh, cook, I'll get the name for you later. A good bottle of red wine. I got myself some black bock beers. Good meat, very good meat. And for the cat, we have something nice as well. So let's get started. So hi everyone, walking back to the, state, uh, to the supermarket because I got the wrong can of beef. I needed goulash and I brought haché, but that's what I'm gonna make. And I need uh, goulash to make it. So I'm gonna go back <laughs> and I'll see you back home. So this is the one I was after, goulash, Hungarian goulash. Uh, ready and set to go, but this is gonna go into the bigger picture. So. Uh, I gotta try and sneak this in before my guest knows that it's got pig in it. <laughs> All right, cheers. So there we go, continuing. This is just the beef. So I, I made a bit of a translation because I'm not gonna do it with the chicory where I get all the names wrong and uh, calling it nut musket in, instead of nutmeg. So, uh, so what I couldn't uh, translate first is this is gingerbread. I only need one slice of gingerbread. I uh, use that instead of the flour to bind everything together. Uh, the roomboot is actually dairy butter. And hashé, supposedly it's called hash. So it's a meat hash. And we're going to make it a la mamama. So uh, let's continue with a great, great meal. All right, guys, let's get ready to cry. Onions! Uh, oh. Yummy! What a good onions! So there we go, the onions are ready. A big bag of onions, keeping them a little bit watery. Food. Almost ready to be. So now I hear you thinking, like, what the hell is he so occupied with it? Oh, I'm sorry, yes, I am. I've been following this story for five to six months. So I've got Fox on the left and fake news, CNN on the right. That is only because in Holland we don't get any other news than CNN. Clinton Network News or Clinton News Network or Clinton Nazi Network or whatever. So we're going to do some Fox Phoenix 10. I'm going to put that on as soon as it comes. And uh, we'll have a great time and a great meal. Oh, and last but not least, you will need one or two rolls of these because... This is going to be an onion shitty heavy dish, so uh, make sure you got enough toilet paper for uh, the day after. So there we go. Putting butter in the pan. Dairy butter. Let me put the TV a little bit less. There we go. 
about to begin. I don't think we're gonna make it with the dinner before the inauguration starts, but hey, too bad. First we're gonna do the meat. There we are. Now the great thing with these pans is I can actually use that pan is bigger. I can actually use a fork if I scratch surface, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There we go. So first we gotta do the meat. The beef, we're gonna do it five minutes on high temperature so that it really gets a little bit of a, of a color. We don't want to get it all through because it's too caved meat, you call it like that, and it needs to stay for about, I don't know, uh, at least two to three hours. So it takes a little while before the meat becomes best. So what I'm doing here, it's just trying to get oh, shit, there's a lot of stuff no matter put the things on there. So um, the meat has to stay in a big pan, which I got here for at least two to three hours. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of color. Then we're gonna put the onions with it. There we go. But let's first put the meat in there because it's uh, necessary. So there we are, that one is done. This one needs to be done as well. Very good, very good. All right, and we're gonna put the meat in. I'll put my hands a little bit on this side. There we go. Now you can choose to put some extra herbs and stuff in there but since there's some other stuff in there already and there's going to be more so that's the meat okay i'll see you when the rest is going strong now as you can see the meat is already getting some color we're about uh, four minutes in so after five minutes i'm going to put the onions with it and have a look how i'm going to do that because <laughs> there's not really a lot of uh, room for it but uh, we'll manage, we'll manage. Take some of here, we'll put it in there. That's warm. There we go. Oh man! If only they could make smelly YouTube videos. Man, this already smells good and I'm just doing the meat, nothing else. So the meat is going uh, pretty well and we're going to put the onions with it. A lot of onions because really you need to get the whole taste of the onions. So there we go. We'll take it in there. Yeah, like this. Let's make it. And I'll put the rest. I think I got a lot of onions already so I think this will be enough to get it done. There we go. Right, as you can see, there's a lot going on at the moment. Doing pretty well. So let me give you a close-up of what it's looking now. Now, of course, the onions, I can bake the onions separately, but the onions is going to be in the big pan anyway for two and a half, three hours. So they will be soft as a baby's button. There we go. Okay guys, so this has been going on for 15 minutes now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pan, big pan here, put that on here, oops, and get all this stuff in a big saucepan. I mean if you got a, I'm not sure how you call it, crebouchet, French pans that are the best, but this will do, this is a teffel, which is fine. Put this together in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Let me show that to you. Mm. So, uh, there we are. And 
And then, when it's in this, uh, we're going to do water and tomato mash. So let's first put the tomato mash in there. Nice. There we go. That's the tomato mash. Water. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I have to find out what is best. We're gonna... Where's this thing? Ah, there. We're gonna put everything together. And now it needs to slowly heat for about two hours. Let's say for about two hours, two to three hours. So we've got a lot of time now. I think it needs a little bit more water. There we go. Oh, smell is good. Smell is very good. Make sure that the uh, tomato mash is just really all the way through it so you don't get like big parts of tomato mash somewhere in between so really then it gets a bit of color it's got a bit of red color in there that's what I mean ah, there we are I think it needs a little bit more water Now it's a question of just letting it be. And in two or three hours, there will be an answer. Let it be. There you go. So we're doing this. It's been on for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. It needs about mm, 65, 70 minutes left before we put the gravy in and the coffee, milk and everything. But it's really, it's getting soft, it's getting smooth. This is going to be a heavenly meal. So we'll check you later when we're going to put other ingredients in. Palabos. So, if you can see now, I got the whole Hache meat mash going up. Look, there's something with the lens, I don't know what's happening, but have a look. That really smells terrific. But it needs about 45 minutes more before I can put the rest of the ingredients in, which will be, to repeat, the full milk, gingerbread, a little can of goulash, and gravy. So here we are, two hours in. You can see it's uh, the meat dropped. There's this little layer of fat. And the onions are really, really uh, soft now. So in a few moments, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And I'll show you. Now, as many people would like to have this with uh, rice or where mash, uh, uh, potato mash, I definitely think it's a good idea to do it just with normal potatoes. Just cook some potatoes. It will give you some bite since this is quite soft. Putting this on, on, on mashed potatoes will be like a, a soup and rice. I'm not a big fan of rice. I'm a Dutch guy, a potato eater, like the painting by Van Gogh. So uh, this is what we're doing today. All right, All right so uh, doing a little uh, Trev's Travel Tale uh, segment here. Because uh, together with it, I'm drinking a Hertog Jan, a Duke Jack, actually Duke Jack. Bock beer, which is a special darker brew. This has six and a half percent, and uh, this is the beer itself. Very good beer. Oh. Ah. Visitors are back. Okay, so there we go. Going in at the moment is some goulash. I won't put everything in there. There we go. Uh, just check the coffee with water. Then we're gonna put some gravy in. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna put half in there. Some extra water in there for the gravy. There you go. And some, how do you call this? Full fat milk. And this has to stew on for another, at least another hour. So I've got time to drink another one. Nice. Oh yeah, that's all good. Yeah, what can you do? So it's changing colors. Gonna do the gingerbread in. So put it like this. There we go. And it needs about another, at least another hour or so. So this is where we'll keep it and then we'll do the potatoes in about half an hour. So man, look at this color. It's really getting some nice color and oh man, the, the smell is just fantastic. It's just such a waste, such a shame you can't really, really smell the whole stew going on here. Oh dear. Well, about an hour left. So as you can see now, the potatoes are cooking. And this is a big nice stew. Ah. So we're about time to see the inauguration of Mr. Trump, or President Trump. Oh, let me put the, there you go. We got the potatoes here wrong with this camera I don't know what happened and we got the hushé the meat stew here I got it on a plate I'm gonna take a little bite now <laughs> oh man that's good oh fuck yeah so I made a bit of an atmosphere let me show you here got some candles got the inauguration up Trump is about to say hello and that's my neighbor with a good bottle of wine over there. I got a nice beer and we're ready. Cheers and Charlie bye. Yummy. Well guys, that's the last part of this video. They're gonna sing the national anthem now. So I'll shut up. And I said I had tears in my eyes eating the hashé, the meat stew. Because, fuck me, I, I didn't have it for for 15 years and it really was absolutely how I remembered it thank you mom and wow a memorable day cheers good luck and good luck mr. Trump Charlie bye and drain that swamp so potatoes and some great Chew. Now this is how it looks before it goes into your mouth. You might not want to know, but it's more or less the same color when it goes out of your on the other side in about a, a day or so. <laughs> Cheers. So just before I'm gonna put it into the uh, refrigerator, this is the way it colors up. I can see in the uh, here it looks a little bit lighter in real life it looks a little bit darker you can see the meat in there and this will at least be more enough for well two or three portions yummy